Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am way behind on like everything. So I think that this video is sort of going to be, or, or everything I'm getting done this weekend is going to sort of be segmented into parts. And I'm just gonna take you along for the ride and everything that I get done this weekend. Um, I need to weed that last raised bed. I need to transplant my, the, what is left of my tomatoes and my basil. Um, bought new pumpkin seeds because nothing was coming up from what I planted and I just looked today I have two plants coming up with my pumpkins that I didn't think were going to come up bought a couple more I think I'm going to plant a couple more didn't plant the first round correctly apparently you're supposed to mound the the dirt before you plant the pumpkin seeds so we're gonna try it the right way this time and see what happens I'd like to my purple basil is done even the purple basil that I got at the Amish market died. My husband and I had a miscommunication. I was house sitting for my parents this week and in the middle of trying to harden off my seedlings, he thought that they were supposed to stay out in the sun all day. He did not put them back under the tiki bar. I came home and, um, well, I think you know what happened. The purple opal basil was some of the plants that did not survive. So we're just gonna go ahead and plant some seeds into a pot and into a raised bed to see if they do any better with that. Uh, I have some marigold seeds that I want to plant in the raised beds. I have some romaine lettuce and spinach that needs to be picked. I might take you guys around for a walk just to see how everything's doing. My Squash is coming up nicely. Finally, I'm starting to see my cucumber plants coming up. Watermelons trying for me. Like I said, the pumpkins are trying for me. Wasn't expecting that one. Peas look really good. I think that the, um, the lettuce and the spinach might, the heat might be getting to them. I think the carrots, I have no idea when carrots are supposed to be ready. So I might just try to dig one up and see what happens with that. Um, I'll just take you guys around with me in different segments uh, and everything I have planned to get done maybe today or over the next couple of days when I post. So on that note, let's get into the video. All right guys, so um, here are the carrots, a door. We are redoing our bathroom and a door actually fell on them and smushed them down. Uh, you know what? I wonder what would happen if I just, okay, well that definitely was not ready, but it is a carrot. I do think that carrots are supposed to start growing out of the ground a little bit, um, and that's when they signify that they are ready. So I'm just going to give this one to the bunny. That's what I'm going to do with that little guy. I've got my spinach my romaine, having some watering issues with my peppermint plants. I think they have been drying out too much. Here is my little strawberry guy. My runner, just, it's not staying in there. So I'm gonna try to do a better job of getting that in there. Here are my peas starting to flower. Super excited about them. They look pretty good. Uh, there is my regular cucumber right there. I've got a whole bunch of zinnia, zinnia little flower seedlings that I started in the ground, not seedlings, um, seeds in the ground, directly in the ground. They're doing much better. Um, I have sunflowers from my bird feeders this winter that started coming up randomly when I mulched, so that was fun. Here are the zinnias that I actually started inside and I transplanted them. And would you look at that? They are actually, I, I think they might be thriving. Uh, they look pretty good. And if I go over to my first raised bed or we can stop on the way. Here is the one little pumpkin guy coming up. And then the other little pumpkin guy coming up. I haven't given them, we've gone a week without water. I haven't watered over here at all. I figured I just didn't plant them right and they weren't gonna come up for me. So I gave them a lot of water just now. I'll pay much closer attention to that. Here is my summer squash. 
right here. Those are looking pretty good. Here's the pickling cucumber right there. Here's my watermelon. And then this poor little guy right here. I accidentally, let's see, can we get, there we go. I accidentally pulled him out of the ground when I was trying to find something in that hole and I re-stuck him back in there maybe five days ago and he still seems like he is growing. So I've been trying to water him quite a bit. Here are the seedlings that are left. This tomato, whoops, this tomato looks pretty good. That one, uh, it doesn't look terrible. That one's not terrible. My two basils are on the end there. Uh, they seem to have taken to the weather pretty decently. They're gonna go in with my tomatoes. And then, well, this poor little guy, he's one of the ones I had problems with. Um, one little leaf right there. We're just gonna see what he decides to do. But at least I've got three decent looking ones that I'm gonna try to get in that raised bed as soon as possible. Um, one more thing that I completely forgot to put in my little video introduction was that my vertical strawberries, they are flowering out the yin yang. My daughter picked the first strawberry that was ready um, a while back. She just came home from vaca vacation and she picked the second strawberry that was ripe and ready. Um, and I have a feeling that's sort of how that's gonna go. I'm not gonna get to make anything with those, but she's going to eat them off of the plant and um, quite enjoy that. But the little runner that I tried to bobby pin in place to try and get it to sort of grow vertically and cascade down the laundry basket um, is not taking at all. The bobby pin is too tight around the, the stem. I think it's starting to hurt the stem. So I had my husband just take some wire and sort of make a bigger bobby pin that I'm going to try to sort of pin that guy back in place and see if the roots start to take um, a little better using this.
two in that hole. <laughs> Can you get it? I think I got it time. But you gotta get it. Sometime today would be good. All right, two. Stay right there. Don't move. Now let's do this one. Two. Okay. And this one. Doing that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope, that's all for right now. Hopefully they'll do a little bit better since we planted them the right way this time.
well guys, I did it. I got it done. Um, I had to take a little break for dinner and I needed to run over to my parents' house to feed the horses. So um, it is late evening. I got everything done that I wanted to get done. Um, now hopefully everything grows the way it's supposed to. The pumpkins I actually mounded up. So I'm thinking I might get a little bit of a better result for those pump pumpkins. Um, we'll see. Fingers crossed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.